Okay, good afternoon everyone. Today is Monday. I hope you all are having a beautiful Monday. Um, this is Laquita Joseph with Laquita Joseph Enterprises and here I am again continuing my 21 day live challenge. I almost missed it last night, but I didn't. So if you did miss it, check it. It was aired about a little after 11 p.m. last night, but I did get it in. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this one. It's going to be quick tonight. Um, so this one is about what happens if the personal representative fails to perform their duties. And so as a reminder, the personal representative is either the executor of the estate, which means that there was a will, or they're the administrator, meaning there was no will and they were appointed by the court. So first of all, so if they do not uphold their responsibilities, they do run the risk of being personally liable for anything that could go wrong with the process of the estate, with processing the estate. So if um, things don't get um, documented correctly and it ends up being an error, you know, in payments or in amounts that should go to heirs, then they can be held liable for that. And so that is a reason why people don't want that responsibility. So even though, you know, someone is named as the executor in a will, they may refuse to uphold that duty for that particular reason, because they do not want to be held personally responsible for what could go wrong in processing the estate. So um, some things that could go wrong <laughs> or things that they could be held liable for. One, um, if they sell any assets, you know, without having the authority to sell those assets. One of those assets is being, you know, um, a property or home. Um, in the case of a property or selling a house, it's probably a little bit harder for them to sell without having the proper, proper authority because you, um, in the sale of a home, they still have to go through title and making sure that that person actually has the authorization to do so. But there could be other things that are sold there, personal property that's there, um, such as vehicles or anything like that, jewelry, if they were to sell anything, then they could be held liable for that. Also, they could be liable for mismanaging any assets. So for instance, if they, there were some assets that were li liquidatable and they took some funds and they did something without going through the court system, then that could be considered mismanagement. Um, also, if they fail to collect any money that is due to the estate. So if for some reason, you know, they don't charge someone or collect something that was due to the estate, they just let it go they could be held liable. And then also overpayment of creditors. So you have to be very careful understanding what is due to the creditors, um, being very um, meticulous when it comes to keeping the records and keeping track of payments and what is due. Then also, failing to file taxes online because as you recall I you um I stated in several lives ago <laughs> that one of the responsibilities is to file taxes on behalf of the deceased so they will still need to file taxes and so if you fail to do that on time you could be held personally personally liable for that um and then also which is a big one, I think this is the obvious one, is distributing assets to the wrong beneficiaries. So meaning you gave money to someone that you that is no longer um, listed or um, as an heir or on a will and you gave them something 
inadvertently. And so how that's going to come about is what typically happens is someone who is an heir, who um, has some kind of skin in the game, right? They're going to be the ones to report that. They're going to have a conflict with that. You know, there are going to be people who are going to be watching what you do meticulously. You know, they're going to want to see all of the receipts and everything because basically, it affects how much they get, and so they know this. So, um, so that is what could happen if, for some reason, um, you the the personal representative, which is the executor administrator, fails to uphold their duties, and so they could um, basically be responsible to repay and pay for things out of their pocket as a result of their mismanagement. So that is something to think about and to consider when it comes to um, having that responsibility for an estate. I hope this information was helpful. I will be back again tomorrow. You all have a wonderful evening. Bye.